Hello everyone. So this will be the last video in our Go Charting Primer series English. In this video, we will explore the bottom bar of the Go Charting. So let's start with the multi chart layout. So these are the options for the multi chart layout. So suppose I want a two chart in one screen. I should click on here. Now you can face some problem related to this. So first is from this section, if you have hidden the bottom bar, suppose I have hidden it. So you will not be able to see this option. Although this option will make your charts larger, but you will not be able to see the options. So for that, you make sure that this hide bottom bar is not enabled. Now, second problem can come. Some trader will be accessing this feature in the options desk. So this feature is not available in options desk. So let me show you how you access multi chart layout in the options desk. So we go to our go charting homepage. We click on the products. Now, if you see the option desk, we have this price chart option here and in the price chart option, you will not see a multi chart layout. So how will you access the multi charts in options desk? So friends, options desk is made for options trading. So suppose you have this options chain and you also want the price chart along with the options chain. You can simply click on here and drag this to here. Now you can see the price chart along with the options chain. So this is a different functionality. Now let me go back to charts again. Now we have two charts. So suppose you want to change the properties of this chart. First of all, you have to select this chart. So once you select this chart, all the options of the time interval or the chart types, everything will be related to this. So for example, if I want to change the time interval for this chart as one minute, so I, I first click on this chart and I change it to one minute. So only this chart will be affected, not this chart. Now here we have some extra options. So what are these options? We have some extra layouts. You can synchronize cursor. So if you click on the synchronize cursors, so you, you can see the cursor will be synchronized in both the chart, right? Now the second option is synchronize time. So if you click on the synchronize time, so you will see a very interesting feature. So this chart is in 15 minute and this chart is in five minute. You can see it from the here. So now if I click on any candle in the 15 minute chart, so for example, I'm clicking here, you can see the five minute chart will automatically move to that point, right? So I can click on here, it is moving. So this was about the synchronized time. Now we can synchronize all the symbols. So in this case, all the symbols will be of the Nifty only. This will be the synchronizing the time intervals. So in this case, all the time intervals will be the same like 15 minutes. So this is also 15 minutes earlier. It was five minutes and this will synchronize the chart type. So what is the chart types? Chart types are this. So if you are using imbalance chart in one chart, it will be same in both the chart. So here it is saying Nifty is an index. So let's select the Nifty futures chart and you will see in both the windows. It will be the same imbalance chart. So this was about the multi chart function. Now here there is one more important function. Suppose you have two uh, charts now, but you want to see this chart. For example, you are trading and you want to see this chart in a closer way. So what you have to do is you have to press this button and this is called toggle charts. So this chart will become full. And if you want to again go into the double chart mode, you should not click on here. If you click here, it will not go. So you have to check this button. If you click on this button, it will again go to the uh, two chart layout form, right? So this button function is very important. From this, you can put to the full screen here. We have some themes you can set to the dark theme or you can set to the white or whatever you like. This particular option is called the save layout. So suppose I want to save this layout. So what I will do, I will click on the create new layout and I can uh, give it to a name. Say I can give it to the name multi chart. Okay. And I can create it. Now after creating, I should go to this save button and I should save layout. After this layout is saved, if I click on the save button, still I cannot see this layout. So what I have to do is I have to refresh it once. Now I can see this multi chart layout over here. This is the multi chart which I have created. All right. So this was about the save. Now here in this auto save option, it will automatically save your layouts after a few seconds. So if you want to 
automatically save your layouts you should keep it on otherwise you should keep it off now there is one more option it is called reset app defaults so this is an important option suppose you are facing any kind of problem in go charting or suppose some template is not working or some indicator is not working properly you can simply go and reset the app defaults so if there is any bug it will automatically clear it then from this option you can see the stock fundamental what are the balance sheet what are the incomes and all for a stock this laser section is for your trades what are your trades what are your orders what is your position your balance and holding etc you will be able to see it from here we have explained about this in detail so if you want to know more about the trading function you can go to one click trade playlist in the go charting then this is the option for trading panel you can go for buy or sell from these panels this one click is for the market order so from this option you can simply buy or sell at the market price this is our discord support function so from this option you can go to our discord support these are the hotkeys means the shortcut keys so you can access all the shortcuts from this option so these are the various shortcuts related to various sections of our go charting then you can report some bug from this feedback report you can record your screen from this option you can also publish your chart from this option then from this option you can set your time zone so you can click on here and you can see various time zones it is a good practice to set is to source exchange time zone from this option i can go to a particular date or to a date range so suppose i want to go to a date uh, say for example first of july so i will click on here and the chart will go to first of july this is the probability cone so basically if you enable the probability cone so it is showing it is working on the daily time frame so you can choose the daily time frame first of all you will be able to get the market range based on the historical volatility this is our oi profile about which we have explained a lot you can enable your oi profile based on the open interest oi change or the volume you can also use the cumulative oi profile which will add all the weekly and monthly expiries from here you can change your call and put colors this option will show the levels the data and then you can set it to the compact mode so the bars will become thinner you can also filter top 5 and from this option you can optimize the spacing so this was all about the go charting primer series i hope The primary series will help you to quickly start with the go charting. Thank you guys.